Not so keen to launch a strike on Syria, with Germany, Italy, the Netherlands and Canada all stating there needs to be a thorough investigation first. Peter Oliver has the details. Well, if there is going to be any coalition, it does seem that a lot of leaders in Europe, as well as further afield, are going to need some more convincing. We've heard from Angela Merkel here in Berlin saying that although a clear message needs to be sent that using chemical weapons will not be tolerated, she isn't prepared to commit the Bundeswehr uh, to strikes in Syria just yet. The German military won't be involved as it stands. Similar message coming out of Rome as well, where Paolo Gentilini has said that Italy will honour... Um, existing deals when it comes to logistics, but they won't be sending any combat troops or aircraft. We can listen to those two leaders right now. We must say, as we Italians always have, that if we need a long-term solution to the Syrian crisis, we not only need to respond to crimes, but first of all work towards peace. Germany will not take part in possible military action. I want to make it clear again that there are no decisions. But we see and support this that everything is being done to send a signal that this use of chemical weapons is not acceptable. So they not these countries that uh, used to sit back and pacify the atrocities that America commit. They're not doing it anymore. All right. Now the uh, the, the leader of France, he was a little bit more uh, appeasing in his statement. But you heard what the, the the female leader of Germany had to say. He's like, look, we're not supporting this. And what you're seeing is uh, what you're seeing is the collapse. Of the beast, what you're seeing is the beast, and and hating hating the whore. Now, when you read the caption in the video, it says what? RT meaning Russia today, coalition falling apart? Question mark. Germany, Italy vow against strikes on Syria. And Lord willing, I'll do a video on 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 that later. But uh, Russia, I mean not Russia, but America, got in their law that. Uh, a nation must attack them first in some way, shape, or form before they retaliate. That's why you see all of this, these uh these operations and this these these lies or these false flag attacks. That's why they go and do these false flag attacks. So they 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 make it appear as though they're justified, but these other nations is tired of it. These other nations, they been they already knew what was going on. They already they been knew what was up with America. But America was too much in authority. It was too much in power. So these nations weren't saying nothing. But now America is being weakened. The economy is terrible. The petrol dollar is not the supreme currency. You know, America is 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 weakened, and these other nations see that. All right. So let me get this scripture because uh the scriptures. It's current. The Bible is a current book, the Holy Bible. All right. This is the only thing that will keep you up to date with what's going on in the world. If you're paying attention. Now, this is Revelation 17 and 15. It said, and he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Now, America is the whore. America is the whore that rided the beast. When you read the Bible, when you read Revelation. Now, why is, it, is America called the whore? Because um, what do a, a whore do? A whore deals with you and you pay her. And she, the, a whore deals with multiple people. All right? And that's what America does. America deals with multiple nations. And these other nations have paid America. All right? America, America goes and, and, and enforces its so-called democracy, so-called liberalism, Oh, you gotta you gotta liberate your women. Men and women are equal, or or women are above men. A homosexuality is okay, and or or you don't need a king or a dictator. You need a democracy, government by the people. You know, they go and and, and they go and, and and put their way on all these other countries. All right, that's why America is the whore. And they get the whores get paid, and America has been getting paid off these other countries. Okay, it says, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Now, when you go to Obadiah, 
This is Obadiah chapter 1. I believe it's, well, Obadiah is only one chapter. I believe it's verse 4, or is it? It's 8. No, oh, no, 7. Obadiah 1 and 7 says, All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. So your allies, NATO, EU, the whore that ride the beast, it just said the beast shall hate the whore. Because the, 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 the actions that America is taking, it's, it's not um, conducive or it's not constructive to its allies. All right, and I'll get into that later. It says, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Yeah, the things that uh, uh, Donald Trump, the leader of America's so-called free world, the, the, the actions he's taken, is, is, it seems as though it's without understanding, man. You know? So I'm going to go back to... Uh, Revelation 17, 15. Uh, verse 17. It says, uh, For the Most High put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. So this, the, this is the... Uh, these is the words of the Lord. Uh, this is the will of the Lord. You know? And a lot of these people... They gave their kingdom to the beast. They got this thing called international law, international policy, or, you know, and the beast creates creates that. And the, the, the beast, uh, the horde that rides the beast dictates it all. Like when you first go into uh, the United Nations and all of that, it started with, uh, ah, I can't remember the president. I want to say McKinley. It might have been McKinley or, or, or Wilson. But some make me want to say McKinley, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but he came up with a plan called the 14 points plan, which is basically the, uh, I believe it's 14 points, which is the predecessor to the United Nations. Now, it was basically a hedge money. When you're going to Philip II of Macedonia, a hedge money is basically, you got all these, because he did it with the League of Corinth. You got all these, you know, you look that up, the League of, it, history repeats itself. You got all these countries in alliance and you got all these rules and laws and democracy and, you know, policies that everybody's supposed to agree upon. But you, you sit atop everything. You at the top of the pyramid. So you might not want to agree to one of the laws y'all came up with one day or depending on who you dealing with. And you be like, eh, and ain't nobody say nothing because you the one that's in, in, in complete authority. That's why America... When these countries make decisions for themselves to better their countries outside of American rule, because America just going to profit off of you. It's just going to leach you out. When, when countries wise up and go about legal, other, other legal routes, international legal routes to better themselves, then America goes and have to say that they did something. Oh, they're, they're, mis oh, they're mistreating their people. Oh, they got uh, weapons of mass destruction because it got to be a reason for them to go in there and control you. And all these nations been sitting back and, they, and have not been saying anything because they were not powerful enough. But now they are. Now they now they getting there. Now let's go back to the video. <laughs> voices in support of Donald Trump has been Emmanuel Macron, the French president. However, there are voices within his own government that are saying, although Mr. Macron claims that there is proof of a chemical attack, they're going to need to see that proof before they commit to any type of military. See, now, when you, you got an example. When, um, when Saddam Hussein was accused of having weapons of mass destruction, right, there was no proof before these other countries gave uh gave their help or gave their military help you had you had other countries uh other countries helped america all right and the video gonna state canada helped america and it's in its uh with military help up until 2015 until they got a new leader but they did that without proof why because america was still was still in charge all right america was still feared but these nations aren't fearing America anymore. 
action. Similar words coming out of The Hague, the Netherlands saying they want to see, well, they want to see concrete evidence before they commit uh, troops to any strikes. And from Canada, across the Atlantic, there we're hearing the words coming out of Ottawa that they're not looking to be present in Syria. Now, Canada in the past had taken part in bombing campaigns against ISIS in Iraq, but they were all stopped back in 2015 when Justin Trudeau uh, took over as the leader of the country there. Now, perhaps the most go-to ally that the US has is the United Kingdom. And we've heard on Friday after a cabinet meeting in London that the British cabinet says there is a need for action after the alleged chemical attack in Syria. However, when speaking to people on the street, in the United Kingdom, there certainly isn't an appetite amongst the British public to join in with Donald Trump. Do you think military strikes in Syria will help solve anything? Hell no. I don't know, it's just a whole mess at the moment. Well, I'd be very anxious about uh, any kind of military intervention. What would it actually achieve? I really disagree with uh, military action against uh, anything happening in Syria. There's already enough fighting going on there as it is in uh, there's a real danger of war escalating uh, way beyond what we expect. It's uh, narrow and well targeted. To send an important signal. If it's uh, pushed up, no, it's a bad signal. Military intervention never helps anything. I think we have that empire attitude where these countries... You heard what he said? They have that empire attitude. Now, the brothers, the elder brothers did a video on, on America being an empire. The brother... uh. Uh, Bakwaya Kwam Salaki, if I'm not saying it right, and the elder brothers over there in uh, in England, and uh, the elder brother uh, Ariala in Dallas did a, a video about uh, America being an empire, man. You're basically, a hedge money. Going back to uh, going back to Philip II of uh, the League of Corinth, man. I'm gonna control and govern all these countries. They going I'm gonna impose my will, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be king. I'm gonna be king of the world, basically. All right. Have these problems, have these civil wars, and we try and go in and fix it. When we had our civil war, when the Americans had their civil war, nobody went and bombed us. Exactly. And we got this society we have now. They need to go through this on their own. Well. Now he trying to come. He trying to come. now. That seems logical, but what people gotta understand is. This is all the story of the Heavenly Father, the Most High. Yahweh being the Most High's name in the name of his son, Yahweh Shah, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Now, yeah, that would seem logical. Hey, you had your civil war. Hey, leave it alone. And you do, and you, yeah, what he said, but no, this is spiritual. All right, this ain't man's wisdom. All right, what you, what we see and take place going on right now, it's biblical. You know, the movie say it's going to be biblical. But the scripture says, it, what? In the end, it shall speak in our life. All right, let me get that real quick. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Let me see what they got for that. Appointed time. Appointed place time meaning, oh, he's saying, you know, it's an appointed time. So just because you read the Bible and you don't understand it, that don't mean it's not real. These prophecies coming to pass further, further proves the Bible's credibility, the Most High's credibility, the God of the Bible, not no other God. There's no such thing as another God, you know. It's for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak in our life. We at the end. Though it tarry, wait for it, you know, because when you read the Bible, you just because you start, let's say you're going to church for a couple weeks, that don't mean shit just from the start just be happening right away immediately. Or let's say you come to the truth. For a couple of years. That don't all necessarily mean things might happen right away immediately. But it says, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Now it seems as though it's tarrying. Alright, because we the, the, the creature hasten it to be delivered. But as the prophecy is popping off, it's not tarrying. It's coming to pass. And, I, and I'm going to say this. When you working... Things go by fast. When you at work and you at the job and you humping and you working and you ain't really got that much time for a break and you just working, you zone out. Next thing you know, it's time to go. It's the same thing in the truth. You working, you doing videos all day or when, whenever you got the time, you uh, downtime, you studying, you know, looking up, researching, or then you reading 
And then you going into the history, then you going into economies, you always busy. Next thing you know, it's time to camp. You're like, damn, it's, it's Friday already? So those who, you know, make sure you keep, you know, working. You know, I'm, you know, I'm talking to myself. I'm not like a, you know, no leader, no elder, no, you know, I'm just a, a you know, a brother. I'm just saying, but that's a personal thing. I felt like, damn, is when you always constantly active, constantly busy, constantly involved, it just happens. That's why the scripture says, watch as well as pray, you know, keep your eyes on the prophecies, you know. Yeah, so it says, uh, because it will surely come, it will not tarry, and it ain't waiting. It ain't waiting. If you paying attention to news, you got you got China over there, you got Russia over there, and China and Russia they got this beast by the throat, all right? Because, and I speak as a man, but when you in, when you involved in the, in the scriptures and you involved in the you know seeing how the scriptures play out, you can you can see the realness of it. Because this is, the scripture says the Lord put an evil thought in Magog, and Magog represents Russia. Now, America has been governing and controlling the world through trade, through commerce, policy, whatever. But in the NATO and the EU, the allies now, you know, most the, now the NATO and the EU is many countries, but a large portion of them countries are in Europe. Now, a large portion of those European countries depend on Russia for energy. And the so-called white man is, 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 is not intelligent. So he uses oil as his main source of energy. So Russia got, provides most of its oil, most of its energy. Or, or the EU gets most, the EU, European countries get most of its energy and oil from Russia. Now, Russia has, has the only pipe, energy oil pipeline that runs through Asia. So it makes sense when you see Asia and, 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 or China and Russia being allied, you know, because China, so it's like once you, you know, once you get involved and get active in, you know, in cities, then you're like, oh, damn, okay. You can see, you can, the, the Bible becomes, it, it becomes colorful, all right? When you got it with no understanding, it's just a coloring book and it ain't, it ain't nothing. But then once you get once you get involved and once you get the reading, you get the you get them crayons, you get the color, you, you, it, the picture becomes more brighter and vivid. You start coloring, you see it. It's taking place. It's taking shape. You know. But anyway, uh, like um, like the like the like they was interviewing um those 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 uh European citizens or those English citizens towards the end to say United Kingdom, but they was you know doing England. You know, and uh, and the sentiment in England is is it said forty three percent of the pop of the poll they not with America uh, uh, going against Syria. Now the government said we need to be doing something, but what you seeing is you seeing this this scripture is 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 unfolding right here. This is uh, Salakia. This is Jeremiah fifty. In 12, it says, uh, it says, your mother shall be sore confounded. Uh, the mother of America is England. All right? Because that's where, you know the history, you know. Plymouth Rock and all that shit, whatever. Uh, Revolutionary War, you know. So-called white man in America in rulership descended from, uh, uh, came from England, man. <laughs> All right, it says she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations uh, shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. So, right now, England like kind of like sticking up for you, you know, because when you look at the, when you see the video, say something need, the 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 government of England, the Parliament, oh something needs to be done. So they kind of taking up for you right now, but pretty soon. You're going to be caught up, man, because they're not playing like they, they Russia and, China, and Asia and the countries that uh, that America is uh, uh, or that Russia protect. They on your ass, man. America, you being revealed all that secrecy and lies and deception and hypocrisy. 
these nations, the nations that knew about it in the past were scared to say something because they ain't have the might. Now they got the might. All right. And your own people is turning on you. Matter of fact, I want to get something else. This is a. Uh, so like you're going to. Uh, now this is the real Israelites dot com um, from the elders of GM at Chicago. This is one of their sites. I believe another one is the real Hebrew Israelites dot com. You know, Elder Uriah. But I'm going to read a little something. It says the Treaty of Rome, officially the treaty establishing the European Economic Community, was an international agreement that led to the founding of the European Economic Community on January 1st, 1958. It was signed on 25 March 1952, 1957 by Belgium, France, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and West Germany. The word economic was deleted from the treaty's name by the Maastricht Treaty in 1993, and the treaty was repackaged as the Treaty on the functioning of the European Union on the entry into force of the Treaty of Lisbon in 2009. Okay, it says NATO was founded in the late, late 1940s and is the beast. The EU founded in 1958, which is the Ten Toes from the statue in the Book of Daniel, has been in power with the beast for over an hour in the most highest timetable, 42 years equal one hour. Your time is up, Esau. So-called white boy. And they got Revelation 17, 12 through 14. Now, I'm going to click on this on this here. Because some of the nations that's a part of uh, NATO is a part of EU as well. But it all started with what? The beast Germany major, the Romans, and uh, uh, Rome, Italy. So we, we heard what the Italian president said, or the Italian leader, and we heard what the German, the German um, leader said, all right? The woman, she was a little more blunt and direct with her disapproval of the uh, actions America been taking. It says the French, now the French spoke as well. Now the French, they were more a little passive to the actions America took, but they, everybody agreed on something. That before we lend our military might or help, we need proof on these chemical attacks. We can't just be and 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 that's and that's showing you that America's losing its grip too, because America has yet to show proof of any of the other things it's been doing. It just make up things. The Spanish, Germany, minor, the British, and the Greeks. Now, pretty soon. All these nations going to be on board. All these nations going to be in the spirit of the German leader. All right? And it's going to be even worse. Because the scripture says, uh, going back to uh, Jeremiah uh, 50 and 13, it says, Because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited, which is America. It, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon... Babylon, another name for America, shall be astonished and hiss at her plagues. Put yourselves in array against Babylon. See, all these people finna come against Babylon. All right? All ye that bend the bow, everybody that got the nuclear missile, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she has sinned against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? And so what, we, what we're witnessing on the world stage right now is these scriptures being these scriptures coming to pass. What you need what 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 someone should do is try to prove the Bible. See everybody always spend their time trying to figure out how the Bible not true. If you spend a little time trying to figure out how it's real, maybe you'll get a little understanding. But ultimately it's all about if the Lord choose you or not to open your eyes. But you know, just that's just a fact, man. People are always spending their time trying to disprove it instead of trying to prove it because they don't know where to start. That's why you need teachers and, and, and governors and tutors until the appointed time, man. Where you properly where you properly know how to study and go into things, man. But anyway, like uh like I saw a video on my timeline. It said the, the prophecies are speaking. Alright? No other book telling you this. No other, uh, we had some guys come up to camp last week. They was Muslims. Uh, uh, what is it? I believe Pakistani Muslims. 
And as we were dealing back and forth, he made a statement. It wasn't addressed because, you know, we was just rolling in the spirit, but he made a statement and it stuck with me. He kind of said it, it was low. He said, uh, yeah, basically, we're not really concerned about, you know, prophecies. And he said about like three, four, five things. And when I heard that, I said, well, how do you know your, your God is real? How do you know what you're doing is correct? How do you know what you do? This strength, this boosts our faith. How do you know what you're doing is correct? You ain't got no proof. The, the, the Psalm 12 and 6 says, uh, the, words are the, the words of the Lord are pure words, tried in the furnace seven times. So his word, and that word tried going to the word proven. How do you prove if, some, if I say something going to happen, it come to pass? Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter. All right? If a prophet speak, and say something going to happen and it don't come to pass, don't listen to him. All right, but anyway, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well through the scriptures. Uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.